Hello, my name is Andy and I am the Village Idiot. I'm armed with a car and a GoPro and an unhealthy amount of time on my hands. I'm using that time to attempt to visit every civil parish in England. You're watching the West Lindsay series. This is one of the nine districts of Lincolnshire and one of the county's most rural. It has 128 civil parishes. Let's see which one this episode's all about. Welcome back to West Lindsay, everybody. And as you can see behind me, I'm starting to lose the light now today. It's a good job then that this one is extremely small. Once again, like last week, I've left Nikki in the car right there, but Hannah is coming with me to explore probably one of the smallest villages we've ever done on the channel. It's that small, it's got about 10 houses, a church which has been converted into a house, and the site of a deserted medieval village. And apart from that, just a couple of farms. It's so small that this walking route isn't really a route. It's, uh, it runs from this, these, these houses right here, these two houses here, up to where the church is and back again. And it should take me no more than about 10 minutes ish, possibly, we'll see. This is Cold Hanworth. <laughs> The West Lindsay series is sponsored by Gaines Recycles 01427 617 752. For all your cycling needs, this is your one stop shop. Located at 20 Robbery Road or online at gainsrecycles.com. There's a link in the description. Gaines Recycles, ask for Trevor Halstead. And this video is also sponsored by Jamie's Fitness Studio. Based on Low Road Grayingham near Curtin in Lindsay, Jamie is one busy lady. Check her out by calling 07906 749 574 or emailing hello at jamies.co.uk. Online membership is available. There's a link to her Facebook page in the description. Jamie's Fitness Studio. Get fit, get happy, get healthy. Here's my disclaimer for people who may be watching me for the first time. I say things as I would in my native accent and dialect. As a result, I may not pronounce things in the same way as the locals do. Remember, I'm a visitor. It's impossible to know everything. Leave me a comment, spin me a like, and bash that subscribe button. Let's get to today's parish video. Cold Hanworth is a tiny West Lindsay village situated eight miles away from the city of Lincoln, just to the north of the A46. Its eastern boundary is defined by Barlings O. Together with Hackthorne, it forms the parish council of Hackthorne and Cold Hanworth, but it remains a civil parish in its own right. It features very little, but I'd like to think that what it has is in some way quite unique. It has three farms, a handful of houses, and a Victorian church, which is now a house. To the south of that church are the very visible earthwork remains of Cold Hanworth's medieval settlement, probably one of the most well-defined we've ever seen. The remains of houses and outbuildings survive as rectangular ditched enclosures along both sides of what used to be the main street, which is not much more than a track these days. There was also a gravel pit close to Rookery Farm, which is now a coppice, and Cold Hanworth used to have a working forge and blacksmithing school too, until very recently. However, that's no longer in business. It was located at number one, Church Cottages. We were losing the light here, but seeing as this one was so small, it didn't really matter too much. Small it may be, but it's not insignificant. Let's see what we found. As you might expect, Cold Hanworth has very few landmarks. However, we did find a few things. Take this Millennium Bench, for example, bearing AD 2000. 
The village does have a parish notice board despite being so small. Here's Hannah literally using her head to mark it off the West Lindsay list. 46 to go. The village can boast a standalone post box, but there's no post office. It's also way too small to sustain a shop, although there was a stall at Middle Farm where we got some raspberry jam. What few houses there are are mostly strung out along this one narrow road between its three main farms. Keep in mind that the parish boundaries are much bigger than the actual main village, which means there are some isolated properties elsewhere too. Now we reach a farm. Cold Hanworth has three. Middle Farm, Rookery Farm and this one, Church Farm. The latter two are both 19th century farmsteads. So this is Church Farm, as you can see from this sign here. It's one of the Hackthorn Farms, part of the Flagleaf Farming Group, and that's their details there on the sign. And uh, it's called Church Farm because Cold Hanworth has a church, which is no longer used as a church. It's now a private residence. We can still see the building though, and it's up a little track to the left here. The spire of All Saints Church is pretty much unmissable as you turn onto this track, which used to be Cold Hanworth's main street centuries ago. The church was built in 1861 by a J. Croft of Islington for Commodore Peter Craycroft in memory of his father. It's been disused as a church since 1973. It remains a Grade 2 listed building. Check out this massive lick gate by the way. It's now been converted into a private house named Old Church House. The church replaced an earlier medieval structure which would have formed part of Cold Hanworth's now deserted medieval village. This is quite a large site with some cracking earthworks. It was established in the 11th century but records show it to be abandoned by the 18th. It had been in decline since the 14th. It's a scheduled ancient monument and is mostly on private land. As such, this is as close as we can get. I think this has got to be another one of those fantastic uh, deserted medieval villages because if you look, look how well pronounced these earthworks are. You can tell there was something here in a uh, in a past life, as it were. Not now, obviously. It's now a sheep field. <laughs> so the only residents of the uh, of the local uh, sheep. But uh, yeah, Cold Hanworth's deserted medieval village certainly one of the best we've ever found. And there are some earthworks on this side of this gate and fence as well in front of the church which you may have already seen in the previous shot or previous shots I did so there's a few here they're not these aren't as well pronounced they're still lumps and bumps but certainly not as much as you get at this side of the, the fence absolutely fantastic love finding things like that and uh really that's all there is to Cold Hanworth. There are um, a few other isolated sort of buildings. There's, uh, for example, I, I know there's a, another listed building on a different road, uh, but I'm not going to bother with that because it's, 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 it's out of the sort of main village, if you like, and it's not worth going up there just for that. Um, so to be honest with you, that's it. Cold Hanworth, one of the smallest ones we've done so far on the channel, certainly one of the smallest ones we've done in West Lindsay. And I do hope you've enjoyed it. Time for me to uh, get out of here uh, before the sun goes down. It's certainly getting dark now and a bit misty too. You may have noticed there's a, a slight mist rolling in in the distance over there. But that's what happens when it's cold. Um, things start to get icy rather quickly in these rural areas. So I'm going to disappear before uh, the black ice starts to become a problem on the road. This has been the parish of Cold Hanworth and I've been Andy, also known as the Village Idiot, and I'm out.